awareness training. This episode will focus on how to recognize unsolicited or malicious email, otherwise known as spam. Spam is a leading tool used by hackers to gain access to your computer and personal information. The goal of most spam emails is to get you to click on a link within an email. Some spam emails attempt to trick you into putting your bank username and password into a form that looks legitimate, but really is malicious. Other spam emails use vulnerabilities within the web browser itself to load viruses onto your system, all just by clicking a link. In this video, we will demonstrate five principles that when followed can help you avoid spam at home and at work. Let's get started. Spam principle number one, real emails never ask you to enter your username and password. Never ever. Let's take a look at this first spam email that I received on November 17th. You can see by the body of the email, it's asking me to renew my email services account, telling me that if I just click here, I will be able to validate my user account and continue to receive email. Please don't click the link and enter your user credentials. This is definitely tip number one for identifying spam. Tip number two, many malicious emails have poor grammar. Let's go back to our original spam email here and take a look at it. Dear email user, it is time to renew your email services account. Your email account will expire in 24 hours on November 17th. This just does not have a normal professional flow to it. This is a, an okay example of poor grammar. I'm sure if we dug a little harder, we'd be able to find some really poor grammar in some of these emails. Spam principle number three. Your email administrator will never send you an email telling you your account is about to be closed or your eBay account is about to be closed. So let's take a look at another email address. This one says your mailbox is exceeding its storage limit as set by your administrator and you will not be able to receive new emails until you revalidate it. To revalidate it, click here. Notice the, again here with the grammar, a lowercase t, uh, thanks the systems administrator. This email just has a fishy feel about it. Spam principle number four. Look at the from field. Does your domain look legitimate? The part that is after the at? And does the user ID look real? The part before the at? Let's take a look at our spam email. The from field tells us this is from Cal Cochran at CochranC at DaytonaState.edu. Well, that's interesting. At least they were able to pull a .edu address because we are at East Tennessee State University. But I doubt that our East Tennessee State University email administrator has anything to do with Daytona State. So there's something fishy here. Let's look at another spam email. This one is from Danielle Freeman. Danielle.freeman at ridge.12k12.wa.us. Wow, that's not even close. And then our fifth principle for recognizing spam is who is the email addressed to? Is it personal, directed specifically at you, or is it generic? Be wary of generic salutations. Let's take a look at our sample spam email again. The to field isn't even filled out in this email, and it's a generic salutation. This should have a red flag going off in your mind that this is probably spam. Even on our other sample spam, it's at the to field is for info at update. These are definitely spam. So, just to recap, real emails will never ask you to enter your user credentials, ever. Many malicious emails have poor grammar. 
Your email administrator will never send you an email telling you your account to, is about to expire. You'll never get an email from PayPal saying that your PayPal account is about to expire and you need to log in. Fourth, look at the from field. Does it look fishy? Do you recognize the sender? And then look at the to field. Who is the email sent to? Is it is the salutation generic or is it personal? Hopefully, following these tips, you'll be able to have a safer web experience at home and at work. Should you ever get spam at ETSU, please forward that spam to spam at etsu.edu. Also, do you have, a, have a, an idea for a security topic? If you do, send it to us. We'd be glad to help you have a safer computer experience. This is the Security Awareness Team. Until next time.